If you're like many people in the world today, you probably are carrying a little bit of debt around. Some people have a very a large amount of debt, in fact. But whatever level of debt you may have, if you have it, you may be free of it, but if not, um, what I'm about to say might have meaning to you. Just know when you're paying off a debt, maybe a house debt or a car debt or maybe a loan for business or maybe something you just decided you want to do on a trip or some whatever reason you have for your debt, um, school possibly. Whatever it is, just know that the person who loaned you the money is somebody who invested in your and your future. So it's the first thing you want to do if you ever have debt is to actually get to a point where you're grateful for it. Now that seems just the opposite of what you're imagining. But the reason I say that is because when you're paying off debt, it is harder to pay something that you're not appreciative to and you're not grateful for than it is to pay something you're grateful for. So the first thing I would do is to write down all the benefits you've received from the loan that you've gotten. And if you sit down and write down a hundred benefits, let's say, of that, you'll actually be appreciative and you realize that they, whoever they are that loaned it to you, believed in you when you didn't have anything. And they gave you an opportunity to do something you obviously wanted to do. So you want to be grateful for them. They're your investors. And by looking at them as investors and being grateful for them, it's just easier to raise the money to pay it off. Because it's, it's easier to pay debts that you're grateful for than it is to pay ones that you resent. So first, transform your debt into something to be grateful for. Find out how it served your life and be grateful. See them as investors. See them as partners in your future. The second step in debt is to take the debt and break it down into smaller bites. For instance, let's say you owe, owe whatever amount, $200,000, $500,000, million, or rands, or whatever units of uh, economics you may be with. Whatever it is, break it down to how much it is per year that you have to pay it. Then break it down into how much it is per month, and then break it down into week, and then into day, and even hour, and possibly minute. By chunking it down in time, the size of the debt seems smaller. And it helps psychologically, because by the inch, it's a cinch. Just like paying your taxes. If you had to pay your taxes at the end of the year and you didn't save all year and you had to come up with it, you'd be overwhelmed. But if you pay your taxes quarterly, it's a little easier. If you pay it monthly, it's even easier. If you pay it weekly, it's kind of like a no-brainer. If you take out money every day for your taxes, you don't think about it. So you want to chunk it down into smaller bites. And once you chunk it down into smaller bites, overwhelmingness of that big thing called debt automatically starts to go, oh, that's not that bad. I'm only having to pay X per day or so much per hour or really only this amount per minute. Then what you do is you take whatever that amount is and you convert it into units of service or uni units of products or ideas that you sell in the marketplace, whatever your career is or job. If you do and convert your debts into service, units of service, let's say that you're a doctor and you do a unit of service and your office is at, say, $50. And let's say that the amount you have in debt per day is $50. Then it's only one client. What you do is you take your debt, reduce it down to small bites, convert it into units of service, and then focus on service. If you focus on service, your debts will drop up. They'll just disappear. If you focus on debts, your service will drop off, and then your income drops off. It's always wise to first be grateful for your debt, chunk it down into small bites, convert it into units of service, and focus on serving people. When you're focused on high priority things that inspire you, and going to work and doing things that serve people, and you convert the debts into units of service and just focus on serving people, you won't notice your debts. They'll be spontaneously paid. And I recommend that you electronically transfer your money from your business account or wherever your account of, personal account, to pay off those debts, which is done electronically. Emotions disturb and distort money, but electronics just pay it. You know, if, I'm sure you've had moments in your life that you've had a payment, and if you just do it electronically, you don't even think of it. It's out of sight, out of mind. Pay off your debts electronically and accelerate them if possible by increasing the amounts you pay off your debts. But just know that convert your debt into units of service, focus on service, and your debt will go away. If not, you're going to focus on your debt, your service is going to go away, and it's just going to make it harder and harder to do it. You're going to end up resenting the debt instead of appreciating the debt. If you focus on service and you appreciate your, the people that loan the money to you, you will accelerate the process of debt reduction and you'll move yourself into having the positive cash flow that you deserve.